Hey Steve here and in this video I'm showing you a quick curves adjustment layer tip for Photoshop that will help you stop oversaturating your photos while adding contrast. So I'm a big fan of using curves and levels adjustments to increase the contrast in an image because a big byproduct of that contrast is an increase in saturation and it's why you'll rarely ever see me use any saturation tools or adjustments in my workflow just because we can get all of the saturation we need from curves and levels contrast adjustments. But there are times when you want to increase the contrast without touching the saturation. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So remember to give this video a thumbs up if watching it on YouTube, just to let me know if you like it and you want to see me keep making more videos like this. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to be notified by YouTube whenever I publish new videos. And also just quickly, if you'd like to see my full end-to-end -end processing workflow in practice and download my six stage Photoshop workflow PDF guide, then just click the link in the YouTube description. Okay, so the image that's on screen at the moment is one you may recognize from a couple of videos ago. I'm just gonna use the same image now to demonstrate what it is that I want to show you. Um, so this video is gonna be really short, shorter than normal. So it's just a really quick tip for you today. Um, but first let me show you the problem. Now I could show you this using curves or levels It's pretty much uh, the same issue. Uh, we'll just pick a curves adjustment for this demonstration. Now, as I said in the introduction, I usually use curves and levels to increase contrast um, because it has a really nice side effect of increasing the, uh, the saturation in a really nice way. But once you get to the point where, like this image here, I probably don't want to saturate it too much more, but there may still be room for me to, uh, to tweak the contrast and sort of give it a bit more of a boost. So let's say that I wanted to do that now with a simple S curve. So I'll boost the highlights there, I'll drag the, uh, the shadows down here. And as, as we do that, especially when we start darkening things, we see the water in the middle here is getting very, uh, very highly saturated. The water over here on the left has become very kind of blue and the colors through the sky here are getting a lot more uh, warm as well. So let me toggle this off and on. Now the contrast has had the desired effect, but you know, kind of this time it's an unwanted byproduct of the contrast is that the, uh, the saturation has also had a massive increase. So the good news is there's a really easy way to get around this problem. And it's the reason why this video is gonna be really short. Um, so all you need to do, if you're making these types of adjustments using levels or curves, then once you've made your contrast adjustment, or you can do this before you actually start adjusting, you can just switch the blend mode of the curves adjustment to luminosity. And we can see there, it might not be easy to tell the difference um, without me toggling directly between the before and after, but now here's the before version before we've done anything. And now here's the after version with the curves adjustment with the contrast. And because we've got it in the luminosity blend mode, the saturation is virtually identical between the two versions. So I'll just toggle this a couple of times and you can see the effect that it's having, a nice boost in contrast. Granted, the shadows are a bit dark. I would probably mask those out if I was actually doing this for real. Um, but let me show you now, just toggling in the history uh, panel. Let's just move this, get it out of the way a bit. So let me now just toggle between the two blend modes. So we've got luminosity blend mode here. And now let me go back to the, uh, the original normal blend mode. We can see, I'll just toggle this a couple of times. So this is original and luminosity, original, luminosity. And if you pay particular attention to this middle section here, you can see that really takes on a very strong purpley tint. When I go back to original and then luminosity, and even if I zoom in maybe uh, on the sky up here, we can see before and after, especially up in the clouds, so there we go. That is the one really quick way that you can stop oversaturating your images once you've got your saturation and all your colors are at a really good place and you just wanna increase some contrast or adjust the contrast without touching the saturation. 
just switch the blend mode to luminosity and that will fix it all up for you. So like I said, really quick video today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.